ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I know what you're thinking. And yes, I just am this good looking every day. But some of you are thinking, hey, I saw the live stream of Formers Friday came out already. What are you doing with a second live stream on this Friday? It is Comic-Con season. And while everybody is out in San Diego trying to get their hands on the latest, greatest goody stuff and all the news of toys and comic books and TV shows and movies, I'm at home playing with my new Epic Battles Pack, He-Man and Skeletor. These are in the 5.5 vintage style. And let me tell you something, man, that is my jam. I know some of you really love classics, and hey, if you do, no hate, but 5.5, that's, that's, that's my thing. That's what I love. So, seeing when these are coming out, I saw these pop up, you know, online, did the pre-order thing. Everybody, of course, freaking out because they were kind of hard to get, and then they released them individually, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I've got the two-pack, and I'm going to open it right here today so I can play with these toys because these are the ones I'm looking for and this is the perfect thing for my birthday because my birthday is uh, Monday yeah so I'll be 40 uh, to 28 42 42 I had to think because I don't think about my age a whole lot <clears throat> that's what she said so anyway let's open this up oh well I guess first let's take a look at the box okay so it has that classic uh, vintage look to it, even with that uh, old classic font. Uh, Epic Battles, Two Mighty Warriors Battling for the Fate of Eternia. It even says, Prepare for Battle, right there at the top. Uh, you can see you got the Super 7 logo. Uh, you, it also says Adult Collectible. That way it doesn't have to go through all the same uh, safety testing and everything. So we've got Masters Epic Battle Super 7, Masters Epic Battle Super 7. Then, of course, on the bottom here, we've got, yeah, it's got some safety requirements on there. It's made in China. It's Super 7 barcode. Masters of the Universe, owned by Mattel, 2018, made in China. Super 7 Retail Inc. with an address there, super7.com. And then on the back... Join the epic battle for the fate of Eternia. Collect all these figures sold separately. And it says action figures stand approximately five and a half. So there, there's your 5.5. Uh, 13.97 centimeters tall. We have the heroic uh, warriors, He-Man and She-Ra, evil warrior Skeletor, powers of Grayskull, Hero and Eldor, and the evil horde Hordak. So... These are the ones. I didn't order the She-Ra and Hordak one. I want the Hordak. I don't really want the She-Ra. I'm sorry. I've just never been, you know, whatever. Um, so I'll order. I'll be ordering that one separate. And then uh, Hero and Eldor, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so cut it open. We're going to open up the box here as a million geeks scream out in pain. No, it's not meant in box anymore. All right, so although I'm not going to chuck that box. Usually I, like, rip them apart, chuck them. I'm going to hold on to it because uh, I think it looks cool. Okay, so here's what we have in the box. We have our He-Man and Skeletor. Uh, they got some plastic on the legs, I guess, so that they don't run away. And then uh, you can see we've got the accessories and little baggies taped to the side. And then it's just a plain blue background. No exploding rock or any of that kind of stuff. Just plain blue, which is fine. Uh, and you can see they're being held on by these crazy bands. So now we're going to sit here and we're going to untangle... And it's not just a matter of untwisting them. You have to get them straight enough that they can loosen so that you can get your figure out. I'm going to start with Skeletor because he's the best. Team Skeletor all the way. And uh, get that plastic off of there. Get the band off of there. Pull them out. Here is Skeletor. Take off his little leg baggy, His feet condom. Uh, and here we go. So... 5.5 Skeletor. That's a nifty looking head too. Uh, I really like that. I like the look of that that head on there. So uh, what do we got here as far as the character goes? I mean it feels feels like the the normal ones. Here let me grab I got a beast man sitting here. Actually it's a little heavier. A little heavier than a vintage. Uh, actually yeah. So alright. So what do we got? We've got a molded blue body We've got molded black pants. We've got the painted on purple boots. The head looks to be molded in the purple rubber. Uh, no, it's it's hard. It's plastic. Uh, and then the 
yellow and black of the face are painted on. We've got the accessories, the chest strap and the um, loincloth that are plastic molded in purple. So you can see there's a pretty good look at him. Uh, he looks he looks really good. I'm going to block, block my face so it'll focus on his. Um, and you can see his hand. One still has the claw. One has that kung fu grip, whatever they want to call it. Uh, ooh, and it does have the classic action feature. So that's cool. Now, one thing I am noticing here that's different uh, when I look at the legs. Look at the joint there on the leg. You see that? Yeah, they got something new going on with the joint. So no rubber bands to go bad over the years. So they've got, their, they, they do twist around. So there's some sort of peg, it feels like. And then you've got something that allows it to adjust a little bit up and down. So not as much posability as your regular vintage ones as far as the legs go, but you're not going to end up with legs that end up doing this for all eternity. So that is something. Um, so looking at them, and then the back you can see that they're uh, assembled basically just like the, the classic vintage style of... Uh, of uh, having the armor and stuff, the way it all snaps on and snaps together. Uh, it looks clean. Um, I mean, you can see definitely in the lights here, you can see that it's shiny, uh, has a good shape. I'm actually, uh, yeah, that looks cool. Now, if we look at some of the small details, like the fingers, the fingers here, they almost look webbed. Uh, if I can get it to focus there, you can see that it, they almost look webbed the way it cuts in and out like that, which is fine. Uh, no big deal really. Um, I, I have to say, though, the one thing that, that stands out to me looking at this, now the head looks really cool. I like that. But if you look at the chest armor, uh, just the sculpting on it looks a little soft. It's not quite as well defined as I would have hoped. But, I, I mean, that's really uh, nitpicking. That's uh, no big deal, really, as far as that goes. All right, so let's take a look here at his accessories. And of course, they're taped onto the cardboard box, so I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to try to cut the tape as best I can, not really do a whole lot of damage, because, I don't know, I might display them in the box. I mean, I'm definitely going to keep them out and play with them for a while, but then I'm going to save the box and everything, because, I don't know, I just kind of get weird that way with some of this stuff. It's like, you know, you, you never want your childhood to actually go away. So if you still have some toys that are kind of unopened or you can still display them in the box, you can still pretend uh, like you still have new toys to open, you know, whatever. So I always had that dream that you'd find like a vintage Toys R Us or something, you know, uh, been covered by a volcano. And so uh, you could open it up and find all these vintage unopened toys and stuff. One of those dreams. One of those dreams. Okay. Havoc Staff. Woo. Look at that. Try to put that face in front of my face so it'll focus. I don't know if it will. I might have to put something behind it to get it to focus. But uh, you can see that the, the staff is kind of like a pinkish purple, and then the head is like this bluish. Uh, it's like blueberry froyo, actually, is kind of what it looks like. Uh, and it's two different pieces. So it doesn't look like it's all molded one color and then painted. I don't know if we can get that seam to focus. But there is a seam there uh, where they are two different pieces. There we go, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Two different pieces uh, molded together, put together. So that's cool. All right, so we put that in his hand. Um, and it's, ooh, it's a little loose. Maybe it's, oh, I just don't have it pushed in tight enough. All right, there we go. And he's holding the Havoc staff, no problem. All right. All right, that is some good stuff. Okay, now... Also, with his accessories, there are two swords. Two swords, you say? Yes, in fact, two swords. Now, you're looking at these swords, and you're going, those are identical. And they kind of are, except when you flip it over and look on the other side, this one is complete all the way around, and this one is like the vintage one where it's half of a sword. So it's going to combine with the silver half on He-Man's side. So, ooh, that's something to look forward to. But you can also display them with a complete sword, and that is a neat idea. And I'm kind of looking the way the colors. I'm not sure if my, just my screen is a little off, but this is the right purple color. I'm not sure if it's coming across that way in the video or not, but there's that. So that is 
super cool. Okay, so there's Skeletor. Now we're going to take a look at his nemesis, the Valiant He-Man. And again, we've got to unpack this and try to get these bands undone. Whoop, Skeletor, don't commit suicide. I'm run, don't run away. All right. Get the little piece of black plastic off of here so we can loosen up the band. And there we go. All right, so now we've got the high and mighty He-Man in his foot condom. Take that off. There is your new He-Man. Now the face, it is a little different from the vintage one, uh, but it still looks like He-Man. Of course, they, you know, there's some things they have to change up a little bit, so you're not going to get scammed on eBay thinking you're buying a, a vintage figure in great shape, and it turns out it is something else. But uh, you can see his chest armor uh, attached in that old school way, and then looking at again, oh, we're out of focus. The head is hard. So it's not rubbery uh, like the ones I had when I was a kid. Um, but it looks like the, the body is all molded in flesh. And then, of course, the hair is painted. The gauntlets are painted. The boots are painted. It looks like the furry um, loincloth is actually molded in the brown. And then it has that orange painted on. So that's a fine looking he-man there and again uh same leg joints as we saw on skeletor if i can get a good look you can see that uh it has that same little deal going on there so you can you can twist it around a little bit and move it just a tiny bit this way but not really um mostly just for the twisting there but then otherwise the same same posability you had in the classics and with the action feature. Bam! So you can pound those styrofoam boulders that you keep handy, just like the kids in the commercials always had, because that made sense. All right, jump to two cam here, and I am going to cut open the little bag of accessories. And let's see if I can do this. Again, trying to Scar the package as little as possible, not to resale or anything, but just so I can display it nicely. Alright, so there's the little bag of accessories. And we've got, again, two swords, and this time we have He-Man's shield. So no battle axe. I mean, you knew that if you were watching all the, you know, announcements and everything like that. But for those of you new to the game, just let you know. Let's first take a look at the shield here. Uh, and it is the classic shield, if you are familiar at all with uh, He-Man and the vintage uh, look of He-Man. And it even has the same connectors on the back. So if you remember putting the shield on He-Man as a kid, now it has all these extra bolts around it. And I guess that's just the manufacturing process of snapping them together. But I gotta say, having those extra little uh, round part sticking out there. Make it look like bolts. I mean, it looks like it's a little more... I don't want to say realistic, because let's face it, it's not, but still. All right, so put the hand through the shield here and clamp it on the wrist, and there's He-Man with his shield attached. Now, the one thing I can, I can see right now is that the gauntlet there is painted on. Um, so having that clamp go on his wrist, that is going to wear off paint if you are continually uh, taking the sword off and putting it back on. So keep that in mind uh, while you're playing with this thing, because that is something that's going to come out, I'm sure, to be a, a bigger deal as the days go by. And we do have his sword. So we've got one version of the silver sword complete um, for him to hold on to in his hand just like you remember. Um, and then here's the half sword. Now, if you remember, the original swords had like a little half moon shape in the middle, and these have the little pegs. And again, they're going to make things a little different uh, so that people aren't getting scammed on eBay thinking they're buying vintage accessories. Uh, these are new accessories, so they make them a little different just to make them stand out. But I'm, I'm trying to grab this Skeletor one here, and of course I have no fingernails. All right, there we go. 
All right, so we're going to take our two halves of the power sword here, and there are, you can see, three pips uh, on the sword here, and, of course, three holes. And I remember as a kid having these, and you try to put them together, and, like, the swords, <laughs> without fail, it didn't matter if it was my set, my neighbor's set, someone else's set, the swords were always kind of like this when you put them together. Like, the tips were never quite together, and you try to bend them, and you put it together, but still, then eventually over time, they'd kind of open back up. So let's see how these swords work. So we're going to take our Skeletor half and our He-Man half. We're going to put them together here. Find our holes. That's what she said. And then snap it here. That's kind of tough to snap there. And, yep, same deal. <laughs> <laughs> Same deal as when I was a kid. It just doesn't quite want to snap. And if I if I push and get them to go, it still pops right back apart. So that is something, I don't know, I might have to set them under something heavy. Or uh, I've heard people say you uh, take a hair dryer and kind of warm them up and then, you know, try to flatten them out. Uh, do it that way. But I don't know. I don't know if I would display them with the half sword. I probably would display them with the half sword anyway. Uh, put a half sword in each each one's hands because half sword is what I had growing up with, you know, the full sword. Well, although actually, I don't know. What we used to do, of course, is you take the sword and you'd stick it down the back of He-Man's armor like that, uh, so he'd always have it. So maybe take the full sword. Hopefully, there's enough room. Eh, it's a little snug, but it'll work. Will the half sit in his hand? Oh, the half doesn't want to sit in his hand. Well, there's something. It's just not quite... Yeah, okay. So the half sword is having a hard time sitting in his hand. It doesn't quite want to grab a hold of it. Uh, if you can wedge it in there just right. But it's almost like it's almost like the act of trying to push it into his hand forces his hand open a little bit, which, of course, then drops uh, the sword. And it's not in there very tight. So, all right. So I guess the idea then would be put the full one in there and stick that one in the back, and then you've got short but still I, i'm digging that face again it looks uh, a little different from the original but it still looks good it still looks like the same face like as if there was an actor playing he-man uh and then that's you know his actual face just with a little different expression on it now skeletor looks a lot different drop this havoc staff here so let me grab all this stuff skeletor you know of course his his face looks different from the original uh, one, but looks good. I do like that. I do like that. Me likey a lot. So, there you go, guys. Uh, we have the Epic Battles Pack. He-Man and Skeletor, they are here. <laughs> well, my sound effects took a while. There we go. All right, so... He-Man and Skeletor, ready to take on the town. Let's get Skeletor geared up here. Maybe we can get a good... One of the things that I hate about YouTube is uh, you always have to come up with some sort of thumbnail picture, and the dumber the picture, the more likely people are going to click on it. It's one of those things where it's like you have to look like, an, like you have the absolute dumbest video in the world to get people... If you have a nice, like... Nice photograph taken from inside a photo tent. The lighting's perfect and, and everything like that. People just kind of go, eh, whatever. But if you take one like this and then you make some sort of face where you're like, you know, then they get way more excited. I don't know why that is. It's just one of those things. So, so there. But anyway, there you go. He-Man and Skeletor, epic battles. They're here. They're ready for you to play with them. So those of you that are away at Comic-Con, it's time to come home, get your packages, Open them up and play with your toys. And, uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull down uh, Castle Grayskull here and Snake Mountain, and we're going to have some battles, and I'll see you guys later. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.